Please stand. Masaya natin ipagtanda ang pagdating ng manunubos tagapagligtas natin tuwiri makalagdas mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo'y darating We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess. To Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who, seeing the human race fallen into death, willed to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, he comes springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle, or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks, he says to me. Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of pruning, the vines has come. And the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs. And the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, and you are lovely. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Exalt, you trust in the Lord. Sing to Him a new song. Exalt, you trust in the Lord. Sing to Him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-string large chant, His praises. Sing to Him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. 
Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in Him our hearts rejoice. In His holy name we trust. Exalt your just in the Lord. Sing to Him a new song. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. O Emmanuel, our King and Giver of Law, come to save us. Lord our God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Pasko na naman. Ngunit wala ka pa. Hanggang kailan kaya ako maghihintay sa iyo? Bakit ba naman? Kailangang lumisan pa Tanging hangad ko lang ay makapiling ka. Sana ngayong Pasko ay maalala mo pa rin ako. Inahanap-hanap ang pag-ibig mo. Kahit wala ka na, nangangarap at umaasa pa rin ako, muling makita ka. At makasama ka sa araw ng Pasko. Siguro po, habang binabasa ko yun, kumakanta na kayo sa inyong isipan. At siguro, marami po sa inyo nakaka-relate sa kantang yun. Alam niyo po, yung kantang yun ay awit ng pangungulila. Dahil meron kang tao o presensya na hinahanap na makasama na makapiling sa araw ng Pasko. Lalo na po ngayon, paggabi, umalamig ng simoy ng hangin at binabalik nito ang alaala, mga masasayang alaala na kayo'y magkasama pa. Ilan sa inyo dito yung mga balo na? Ilang taon na kayo nag-iisa? Diba sa mga ganitong panahon, hinahanap ninyo yung presensya ng iniirog ninyo na minsan nagpatibok sa natutulog ninyong puso. Namimiss ninyo. Paano kayo nalagaan? Kung paano ka pinagtanggol? Kung paano ka pinaglaban? Ang ilan po sa inyo dito, siguro malayo sa pamilya. Hinahanap ninyong presensya ng magulang na nasa abroad. O kaya yung mga anak ninyo, hinahanap ninyo na nagtatrabaho sa malayo. Hinahanap-hanap ninyong presensya na sana man lang Makasama ninyo 
Ngayong Noche Buena, magkasama kumakain, magkukentuhan, at masaya. Siguro ang ilan sa inyo, hinahanap yung taong matagal nyo ng nakalimutan o kumalimot sa inyo. Naalala ninyo, naging masaya pala ako. Naalala ninyo, na nagmahal pala ako. Naalala ninyo, masarap pala at masaya pala na may kasama ngayong Pasko. Alam nyo po, we all long for someone's presence. For somebody's presence. Naghahanap tayo ng presensya. At ang presensya yun ay alam natin makapagpapagaan ng loob natin. Alam natin kapag kasama natin sila, safe ka, ligtas ka, secured ka, komportable ka, kahit mahirap, kahit meron kayong pinagdadaanan, basta kasama mo siya, basta nandun ang presensya niya, magiging okay ang lahat. Kaya nga po sa ating Ibanghelyo, siguro si Elizabeth ay naghahanap ng presensya ng taong makakaintindi sa kanya. Si Elizabeth na matanda na pero nagbuntis. At alam niyo kung ano kayang pinagsasabi ng mga tao sa paligid niya? She's looking for somebody's presence. that would understand her, that would comfort her, that would be with her without judgment, and will console her that everything will be fine. Nangangamba pa rin po si Elizabeth dahil sa kanyang katandaan, kaya pa ba niyang magbuntis? Kaya pa ba niyang iluwal ng maayos ang bata? At merong dumating Someone came. Someone came to visit her. And that was Mary. Mary came to visit her friend, her cousin, Elizabeth. At si Maria naiintindihan niya ang lumbay, ang lungkot ni Elizabeth. Kaya nga, dali-dali siyang pumunta kay Elizabeth. Dahil alam niya ang nangyayari sa kanyang pinsan. Sinabi sa kanya ng anghel na siya ay magbubuntis na lang ng Espiritu Santo. At ang kanyang pinsang si Elizabeth ay anim na buwan ng buntis. Nung sinabi yun ng anghel, dali-daling pumunta si Maria kay Elizabeth. Dahil alam niya Elizabeth is longing for somebody's presence that would comfort her, that would be with her, that would console her, and understand her. Kaya nga po, pinuntahan agad ni Maria si Elizabeth. At nung nagkita sila, anong nangyari? Diba? Labis-labis ang galak at tuwa ni Elizabeth. Labis-labis ang tuwa at galak ni Elizabeth. Dahil sa presensya ni Maria. Pero alam niyo po, meron pang isang presensya na lubos na ikinatuwa ni Elizabeth. At sana yun ang hindi natin makalimutan. At sana yun ang hindi natin makaligtaan. Ano yun? Anong sinabi ni Elizabeth? How can this be that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Alam ba ni Elizabeth na ang pinagbubuntis ni Maria ay ang tagapagligtas? But at that moment, she recognized the Lord. 
at that moment, mayroong isang presensya na hindi nakaligtaan na nakita ni Elizabeth and whose presence is that? Her Lord. The presence of her Lord. Kaya nga po, sa mga pagkakataon na tayo nalulungkot, sa mga pagkakataon tayo nalulumbay, sa mga pagkakataon na akala natin, people turn away from us. People abandoned us. People has forgotten us. And here we are crying. Sana hindi natin makalimutan. And we must not fail to see the presence of our Lord. When you cried, He was there. When you are in trouble, He was there. When you are in pain, in distress, in sorrow, He was there. And in times that you're happy, in times that you're victorious, in times of your successes, He was there. Bakit? Ipinangako ng Diyos sa atin yun. Ipinangako ng Diyos that I will be with you until the end of time. Nangako ang Diyos, I will be with you in your failure, in your successes, in your joys and your pains, in your sorrows. I will be there. I will be there. Kaya nga sana, ngayong Kapaskuhan, kung tayo man ay nalulumbay, kung tayo man ay may hinahanap na presensya, kung tayo man ay nag-iisa, we must not forget that our Lord is there. Di ba minsan, hinahanap natin yung presensya ng particular na tao kahit sa dami-dami ng tao sa paligid. Kaya sa bahay ninyo, sila yung kakanta sa'yo, may mga taong kakanta sa'yo, may magbibigay ng regalo sa'yo, may magbibigay ng pakimkim ng pamasko. Pero may hinahanap kang ibang presensya. Iba kapag siya ang nagbigay ng regalo. Iba kapag siya ang bumati sa iyo iba kapag siya ang kasalo mo kasi it is not about what they can do for you but it is about who does it for you sometimes the difference lies on the person pareha lang kayong binigay Pareho lang naman kayo nandyan, pero mas pipiliin mo yung presensya ng isang taong ito. O ng mga taong ito. Bakit? Because they matter most to you. And you know, sometimes, God is not the presence that does not matter to us. Hinahanap natin yung wala hinahanap natin, wala naman. Kaya nga, kapag hindi natin nakita yung presensyang yun, malulungkot ka, iiyak ka. And you know, when you don't recognize the presence of God, ganun yung feeling. Ganun ang feeling Kaya nga, sana ngayong Kapaskuhan, maramdaman mo 
makita mo, unang-una sa lahat, ang presensya ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Dahil kung hindi, habang buhay kang mabibigo, at kahit hindi na Pasko, kakantahin mo pa rin yung awit ni Ariel Rivera. Kahit hindi na Pasko, yun pa rin ang kinakanta mo. Pasko na naman. Ngunit wala ka pa. Hanggang kailan kaya ako maghihintay sa iyo? Kahit hindi na Pasko, yun pa rin ang kakantahin mo. Bakit? Because you fail to see the presence of Jesus, the presence of God in your life. In our everyday life, God visits us. At alam mo, yun lang inihintay ng Diyos na sana mapansin mo rin ang presensya niya. Nandito ako. Nandito ako. Sana minsan makita mo rin that all along, all the while, I was with you. Kahit iniwan ka, Tinalikuran ka ng iba. Here I am. I never left you. Sana ngayong Paskuhan, kapaskuhan, we may never fail to recognize the presence of Jesus through the faces of people, through every event in our life. Kahit malungkot o masaya, Jesus is always there, hugging you tight, always there with you, and you don't have to worry. Please stand. Following the example of Mary, Elizabeth was honored by the visit of the mother of her Lord, but Mary only wished to share her joy. Let us bring our prayers to the Father who cherished these chosen women. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church be zealous in spreading the good news of salvation to all people, especially to those in far-flung areas. Let us pray to the Lord. That government leaders show special concern for the poor and the marginalized and by their programs and services. Let us pray to the Lord. That families and communities show gratitude for their individual and communal blessings. Let us pray to the Lord. That like Mary, we as a community in us individuals strive to reach out to our neighbors who are in dire need of our material and spiritual assistance. Let us pray to the Lord. Did our beloved dad experience the joy of God's presence in his kingdom? Let us pray to the Lord. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of the Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, for our personal intentions and the intentions of this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, may the power of your love always sustain us. Help us not to get distracted by the cares of the world and not to be overcome by the evil in our lives. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Umaasa sa pagdating mo, gayon din aming hinanda ang aming puso. Upang di tuwi mananda sa pagdating mo. Panginoon, aming handot ang pinapay at alakalay ng payang umaasa sa pagdating mo. Dahil di aming hinanda ang aming puso. Bless the Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Become for us our spiritual truth. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transformed them into the mystery of your salvation through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we we'll lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles and prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him. With love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sung of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and the archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, with the, as without end we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many by the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. It was in the Christ keeping sin. Please kneel for prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. From this honesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord that conscience may always be our ultimate norm, that the common good may always be our highest goal, 
that human dignity may be respected all the time, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority, that care for creation may never be ignored, that solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates Bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people so that, being subject to your glorious and majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.